let's talk about trade management. Now in trade management, there's, uh, there's actually another session that we do on trade management specifically around options. I'm going to talk about it from a stock position and some of like being able to manage and, and view your trades through the process. So uh, to, we're going to talk about staging orders, um, what, you, what happens with a working order, uh, monitoring your current positions, being able to even see past trades and what's, uh, you know, what's happened with those. And then again, we're going to talk about, if you haven't heard it before, a little bit about the journal and the power of this. So the first thing we want to talk about is staged orders and working orders. So to do that, what I want to do here is let me go back over to the, um, uh, the platform here. And um, so if I go look at a particular trade for a staged order or something I might want to stage. So there's all sorts of scans and uh, things within the platform. So for example, if I wanted to look at top performers in the last 90 days, right? So there's a whole bunch of stocks here. Um, you know, this shows you the percentage gain in the last, in the last three months, last 90 days. So uh, BRG up 100% in um, the 109% in the last you know, uh, 90 days and so on. So I'm seeing all this in here. And um, so if I go into one of these uh, and I just happen to see this one, so uh, with all green, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. I see this, I do my research, I take a look at the chart, I'm seeing what I wanna do here and okay. Um, I, I, think I, wanna, I think I wanna jump into this, all right? So I hit the buy button and as I'm getting ready to do this, I'm going, you know, um, let me actually shift. I'm going to shift over to this for just a second here uh, to do it on this one because the way I'm set up. Uh, so let me just go here. I have AMD. Let's do it on AMD in this case. Uh, so here we have AMD. And um, if I go to my, uh, we'll go to the normal chart view here as we'll set myself up so I can show this, right? So I go, oh, I'm kind of interested in doing something here. So I hit the buy button. When I hit that buy button, um, it comes up and I can, you know, put the quantity in, all that stuff ready to go, decide the price, uh, put my limit order in. And then I can hit the review button to actually place the trade. However, um, what sometimes will happen for you, well, a lot of times will happen is you'll run out of money before you run out of opportunities. So what I want to do is I want to stage the trade. So this is the trade ready to go. I'm going to hit stage. And now what happens is if I go over to my staged orders, you will see here that AMD, the one I just, I have a few of them that are staged in here, right? So here's AMD long stock uh, at uh, uh, 153. Um, and I put this in it. Uh, this is, I'm set for Eastern time here, right? So right there. Um, so I've got that in here. Um, now, what I want to show you, that, so I can go do that with a whole bunch of, of different stocks, right? So I don't know what, what, you know, which ones I'm going to really go. I found that one first, right? So, but I want to go look at other ones. So I can do that. And then you can keep staging. Here's what will happen. When I stage an order, I'm on the chart page now. Um, so on the chart, you'll see here, this shows as a, uh, this line across here, that's this dotted line. The dotted line indicates that I have a staged trade at this number, right? At, at uh, 153.23. And, and I can go down there and look at it. I can see it in my staged orders and, and all that. However, I'm going to just take it another level. So I've got that. I've done a bunch of them. I can go to my staged orders, go working through that. And then I'm from here, I decide, oh, I want to do this trade. So I can go down to my staged orders and pick AMD and do that. But you'll notice something here. Because I have a trade to do, there's a trade button up here. Now, what could that be? That could be I have a staged order. It could be I'm in the position and I want to close it out, whatever. So, but in this case, it's a staged order. So I see here the staged order. Again, I can go down and uh, to my staged orders and do it off of here. But in this case, I'm just going to do it from right here. So I like this trade. I decided, you know, I cherry picked this one out of the several trade orders I have. I hit that trade button. Bam, it comes up ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit that review and I'm going to go ahead and place that trade. Now, as soon as I do that, what's going to happen is it tells me I've got the order in here. I'm going to continue. And what will happen? I'm in my dev account. So let me just do this really quick because in yours, it will happen this way. But uh, there you go. So now what you'll see is 
the dashed line across the page. And um, I did one little thing that, um, there we go. Let me show you exactly how it'll be on yours because I did a little, there we go. That's exactly how it'll look on yours, right? So again, I had a trade that I was considering. I staged it, right? And I could stage a bunch of them. Then you go and say, okay, this is the one, one I want to do uh, or ones you want to do. You hit that trade button, bam, it happens. It comes right up here and it shows you now this dot, dashed line instead of dots, dashed line across the screen. That means that it is now a live working order, right? So um, you can, again, stage as many trades as you want. Uh, it won't actually place them. Uh, until you go and click that trade button and doing that. So it gives you a chance to research several different things. And then you, once you've done that, you can make the decisions of which ones you really want to get in. And you just hit that trade button and bam, it puts that order in. And then of course, once you're, uh, once you've placed the order, and that order gets filled, because as soon as it gets filled, it changes again, um, what's going to happen is it's going to change into a solid line. So if I go to my positions tab for just a second, You'll see here all these different positions I have on. Um, and what I want to do is, I don't know, we'll just pick, uh, oh, let's just pick this uh, right here, uh, SNV. Um, and what you'll see here is uh, this is that trade right there, uh, right? I'm in this position currently. So the really cool thing about this is that um, you can see uh, this. In fact, let me just do a zoom out really quick because I want to show you kind of a cool capability. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see both these a little bit at the same time. Let me go down to my SNV again. Um, and right, so that was my SNV, and you can see that up there. Uh, then I got my Duke uh, Energy, this one here, right? what's going on with this? And this one here, oh, you can see I'm actually down a little bit. See that green line up above where the current stock price is. So I'm a little bit of a loss on that one. Go click the next one here. And I can see, uh, you know, here's my trade here. And uh, I'm obviously in a little bit of a profit on this. So it gives you the ability to really kind of work through uh, this uh, very, very quickly. Now, you'll also notice here that in every one of those, because I have a position on, there's a trade button up here, right? The trade button, if I click this, what's going to happen is it's going to come up and say um, that, hey, here's your current position. This is a closing order because that's, a, that's what you can do it. Now, I, could, I can add to the position I want to, but what the trade button is going to do is look at whether you have it staged. And if you have multiple, it's going to ask you which one you want to do, right? So if I have multiple staged orders in the same stock, um, maybe an options position, a, you know, a stock position, something else, it'll give me choices. In this case, there's only one thing I can do on and that's exit. So it puts that right there for me to do. All I have to do is hit the review button and bam, I can exit the trade. So it makes that trade management very easy from when you're considering a trade to when you've placed a trade and it's working for you to now being in the position. So you can very quickly go through your positions and see how this plays out. Um, and I'm going to go back up to the normal size real quick. By the way, the way you do that is um, control plus or minus. Plus will make it bigger. Minus will make it smaller. Z control zero takes it back to the normal. That's a standard browser function. However, what we've done is we made it sticky. So if you change the sizing, it'll stay there for you. A little bonus point for today. Right? Um, so anyway, so that's a little bit of the trade management. Then when I'm done, however, when I've finished the trade, um, I also have on here some additional information, right? So you'll see here, I have these, um, line, in fact, let me go to the line chart just so it makes it easier to see this. Uh, and you can choose how big these are and you can define it and all that stuff, but you can see here these lines, each one of these represent a trade, right? So if I go to my activity tab here, I see these different trades, I entered, exit, entered, exit, entered, exit, right? But if I go on the chart now, I can actually see this is the day I entered. And if I want to know what it was, I can just go down here and look at this. This was a bull call spread for $4.15. Now, again, that was an option. I trade a lot of options. So you'll see that. So here, what happened was on, on this trade, I wrote it through expiration, the status of the expiration trade, and I made $2,900 on it, right? So you can see that right there. I can't put the mouse over it because it goes away when I move the mouse, but you can see the numbers there. Um, and again, here's my open uh, and here's my close. And if the line is red, it means you lost money. If the line is uh, green, it means you made money. So it shows you your entry point 
and your exit point. And by the way, um, if you're doing stock, it'll just be at the price you did the trade at. If you're doing options, um, what we do is we actually tag it on the chart at the price the stock was when you did the trade. This just helps your analytics uh, a little bit more on this as you go forward. So what you see here is on trade management, you have trades you're considering with the um, the staging. Uh, once you decide which ones you want to do, you place the trade. It's that goes from that dotted line across to the dashed line, meaning it's a working order. As soon as that fills, it turns into a solid line across the screen. Then when you decide you want to get out of the trade, you can do that. Uh, and once you're out, it will actually put the, the start and stop date of the trade with a line connecting it. So you can see that. And of course, if you want to see the details of it, it's available in the activity tab um, as well. So uh, we talk about you know the current positions. We also talk about past trades, being able to see that in both the chart and in um, the activity tab as well, so that you can uh, you know get more insight to it. And then the last thing I do want to make mention of again is journal. Um, we have spent. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. The journal was one of the hardest things for us to do, uh, especially because of options trading. Stock is pretty easy. The option stuff gets a lot tougher. Uh, it does things like, for example, if I let's just think a really simple idea on an options trade. If I do a covered call and then I uh, it expires, I sell the next month. The next month it's leading the money a little bit, so I buy it back and sell the next one. So I roll it. In other words, right? Um, and then maybe I get called out, but I get right back in. It will uh, track this whole thing as a life of trade, what we call life of trade. So it'll look at the collective of all of that together so that um, you can see how that's, that whole thing has progressed. It's a very, very powerful part of this. Um, but uh, so you can do all sorts of adjustments in that and it'll track all that for you. But the biggest thing about this um, out of all the features on the platform, the single feature that I would say is probably the most valuable in improving your trading results is the journal, because you can see what's working for you and what's not working. Well, I don't have a lot not working. There's a little bit there, but anyway, uh, in this particular case, um, but the um, it shows you what what strategies are working for you. Uh, shows you what. Um, uh, what approaches are. So there are several things I recommend journaling. Uh, it'll automatically track the strategy, but I really recommend putting in how you found the trade and also why you're trading it. So, you know, you might've found it out of the Wall Street Journal and you're trading it as a momentum trade, but right? whatever the case is, if you put those in, it will help do the analysis on those to know that, hey, this place of finding trades is working for me, you know, or not. Right? This strategy is working for me or not. And if something's not working for you, what you can do is go move over to a virtual account, trade it in a virtual, do a different approach, get better at it when it's working for you, go back and do it in a real account. Um, if all you did was stop doing what's not working for you and do more of what is working for you, you're going to be a more profitable trader. But the fact that you can do this, identify what's not working well for you, and then move it to doing that same type of thing in virtual accounts instead of real money and get better at it. And then when it's working for you, move back over real money. It is a tremendous way to be able to get um, just that much more out of the platform and out of your trading uh, as well. The journal is truly one of the most powerful tools in the platform. And it's just uh, kind of the the icing on the top of trade management, where you get from the point where you're considering a trade all the way through until after you've done the trade and tracking what the results were, um, a very, very powerful part of the platform. Trade management makes it so easy to work through the, uh, the presentation or through your trades through the, uh, the life of that trade.